In this video I will show you how to create a macOS 14 Sonoma bootable USB drive on a Windows computer. Hello friends and welcome back to MZ Learning. Dear viewers, if you've been a long-time subscriber of mine, you may be aware that whenever a new Apple operating system is released, I tell you how to create a bootable USB drive of it on a Windows computer. I told you in my previous videos how to create a bootable USB drive for macOS Ventura, macOS Monterey, macOS Big Sur, and other Mac operating systems using a Windows computer. Actually, for your convenience, I've made a lot of videos on this topic. Every time, I have tried my best to show you a different and easy way to create a Mac bootable USB drive on a Windows computer. Today, I will demonstrate how to create a bootable USB of macOS Sonoma on Windows. It's a simple process that I'm excited to share with you. In order to proceed, it is necessary to have two things. A blank USB drive with a minimum capacity of 16 gigabytes and an internet connection. First, we will prepare our USB drive and then make it bootable. So let's start from step number one, in which you have to open our command prompt as an administrator. Please don't worry, this task is quite easy. All you have to do is copy paste three or four commands here. So the first command is disk part, type or paste disk part, and hit the enter key. Now type, list, give a space, and then type, disk, and hit the enter key. This command will show, how many disks your computer has. In my case, there are two disks. Disk 0, and disk 1. Disk 0, is my hard drive and disk 1, is my USB drive. In the next step, we have to select our USB drive. So I type, select, disk 1 and hit the enter key. Disk 1 is selected. So now we have to clean it. So I type, clean, and hit the enter key. Now our disk is cleaned, so we type the next command. Convert, give a space, and type, GPT. This command will convert our disk into a GPT partition scheme. After that, type create, space partition, space primary, and hit the enter key. That's all. 60% of our hard work is done. Now type, exit, to get out of this. Our USB has been successfully converted to a GPT partition scheme. Now close the CMD and go to the next step. In step number two, download HFS plus four windows. The link is in the video description. It's a paid software, but the trial version of it is more than enough for us. After installing HSF plus four windows, reboot your computer. After rebooting, run HFS plus four windows. Now, click on these three dots and choose Format New Volume. From here, click on this drop down menu and carefully select your USB drive. If you wish to assign a name to your USB drive, you may do so in this field. Otherwise, leave it as is and click on the Format button. After getting Operation Successful message, click on the Done button. Now our USB drive has been formatted to Mac OS Extended Journaled and the partition scheme is GPT. So the next step is quite easy. Open your web browser, go to my Google Drive, and download this file. The link is in the video description. This file contains macOS Sonoma boot files. After downloading, unzip the downloaded folder and transfer all of its files onto your USB drive. Please keep in mind, by default, Mac's boot files are hidden. You must unhide the system's hidden files to access and copy Mac's boot files. Otherwise, the download folder will show you empty. Don't worry, once the files are copied, you can restore your system's default settings and hide them once again. We're almost finished, just one last step remaining. And the last step is copying the macOS Sonoma installer onto your USB drive. Please keep in mind, macOS Sonoma installer originally comes in .app format. In Mac, this installer looks like this, but in Windows, this installer looks like a folder. Please refrain from making any alterations to the contents of this folder. Simply copy the installer and paste it into your USB drive. That's all. Our 100% working macOS Sonoma bootable USB drive is ready to use. Just plug your USB drive into your computer and install macOS Sonoma. Here is a bonus tip. If you downloaded the macOS Sonoma installer outside of the App Store, it may come in the form of a DMG file. Not to worry, you can still extract the installer by utilizing TransMac. All you need to do is open the macOS Sonoma DMG file in TransMac and extract the macOS Sonoma installer app from within the file. 
Hope it's clear now. For more Mac and Windows related videos, please subscribe MZ Learning YouTube channel. Thanks for watching, have a nice day.